Hi, I'm Anton Savage and welcome to the Car Zone Cars Show. Every episode, we're going to be joined by an Irish celebrity. We're going to do a journey across Dublin and they're going to do a series of random challenges. At the end then, we tot up the results and we crown our Car Zone Car Show champion. <laughs> you looking for a ride? If, if one's available, yeah. <laughs> Great, jump in. There we go. Before we do anything, we have to select what your uh, challenges are going to be. Hello. Oh, hello. How are Hi. You? Nice to see you. Hi. <laughs> well, I hope somebody's going to beat Dermot Bannon, so this is up to you. So okay. pick three. Any three that you like to look up, I'll do available six. Okay. Give me them. We'll dump these. Okay. Now the business is done. Sit back and relax. Uh -huh. Close your window, it's a bit nippy. Oh, thank you. So what is this thing? This is uh, the Seat Ateca F4. F4? Mm. Are you ready for your first challenge? Not really. Yeah, go on. Okay. Let's get it over with. Your first challenge is a quiz about this vehicle. The oh, Seat Ateca that F4. One. F4. So the first question then is, what's the cubic capacity of the engine as expressed in litres. What litre is this car? It's a two litre. Damn. Yes, correct. Litre. Then we want to know, those two litres are spread across how many cylinders? Oh, okay. It's four. Damn, two for two. Third question, what's the horsepower output of the engine? That's definitely not 95. I, I think it's 150. Are you sticking with 150? Yes. It three is 150 for actually. Three. Get in! Fourth question. The manufacturer's fuel economy rating? I think it's 5.1. Damn, you're good. Four for four. Is it, it 5.1? This, this now is for the clean sweep, Anna. That was a little bit of a guess, I'll be honest with you. So the manufacturer's 0 to 60 rating. No pressure. This gives you the clean sweep. I'm going to go nine. Yes! Clean sweep! Get Stunning performance, five for five. Don't jump rubbish in the car. No, no, I wouldn't. Like you take no, everything with yeah, you, no, right? No, I'll leave with me. Yeah. <laughs> what happens if I press it? Is that a stop? bad thing? <laughs> I don't like the fact that you're twiddling with all my knobs. Do you know I'm going to be driving home with stuff beeping and I won't know how to fix it. <laughs> uh, Why would you turn off the airbag? I didn't turn you off did, the You did, it's airbag. passenger airbag says. <gasps> Oh no, is that no, on? it's on. Oh, phew. I thought you were trying to get rid of me once You're and for such all. such a <laughs> <laughs> Do you do beep beeps for like, words that need to be beeped out or what do you do? No, your swearing is going to make it in. It's going to make it in? It's hard to find a sentence in which you're not swearing. <laughs> Always nice. Always <laughs> the, nice. Uh, the thatched cottage nearest the centre of town. It's just over there. Oh my god, you are the world's biggest loser. It's bad, isn't it? Is that? That's an actual, that's a true thing. It's just around the corner. It? I love to drive on my own. Which sounds a little bit... That's because you're intrinsically antisocial. Though, rude. It? it sounds a little rude, right? You don't get, play well with others. But I gotta tell you, I absolutely love the time on my own in the car where yeah. I'm not doing a school run, there's no children, there's no ch constant chat, which is enjoyable in itself, but yeah. I just think it's a lovely headspace to drive somewhere on your own without any great pressure of getting there at a particular time or, you know. Okay, so are you ready for your second quiz? There's a lot of riding on this. You did well on the quiz, dedicated to the car. We've had a solid start. A very we? solid start. This, okay. is, this is broader questions about motoring yeah, generally. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's based on a survey of people. So this essentially, it looks in part at how much you know about motoring and cars, but also how tapped in you are with you know, the zeitgeist. What was voted the most popular car type? I want to think about the profile of people who answered this survey. So who are they? Car zone respondents. Hang on, let, let me who, read who commissioned this. the piece of research? It says 2,647 people. So people? that narrows it down to their people. Okay, all right. It's, it's just, it's a survey. Okay, I'm gonna say hatchback. Correct! Yes! Okay, second I'm question. I'm so torn with hatchback and SUV. Okay. Again, this is a survey of people. What was <laughs> Irish driver's <laughs> highest <laughs> financial concern? Insurance, car insurance, because it has uh, increased so much. Sure. Yes. Two for two. Get in. What was voted? The most popular car color. Popular car color. Silver. 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 Silver.
silver. Because I had silver in my head before you gave me the options. So yes, I'm going to stick with that. Oh, I'm being a bit flahu look here, aren't I? 60 cent down the tube right there. <laughs> Ooh, expensive. God, I account. really didn't think about that. Wow, look at you living high on the hog. This is oh, a glamour of TV. <laughs> Just burning that fistfuls was, of cash. That was reckless, I'll be honest with you. That was cool. reckless, wasn't it? I like it. <laughs> okay, I need to take myself out of this and think about what is the most popular car colour. Yeah. Like the kind of cars that you'd see a lot, like that one. That yeah, one. you know what? That it's one. the one that is the hardest to keep clean. Um, black. Correct! Alright, number four. Two questions left. What form of payment are Irish motorists using to finance a new car? Are, are, is this in, in the current year? No, 1964. Oh, how rude of you. <laughs> is it over the course of the last 10 years or is it now? Now. 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 All of PCP. these questions relate to now. PCP. <laughs> yes, PCP. <laughs> what percentage of people believe that fully self-driving cars will arrive in Ireland in their lifetime? Like, I think it has to be 85%. I would have thought so too, but it's actually 73%. Really? Really? That's very good, yeah. You only dropped one. That's very impressive. Okay, that's great. So I have an idea. I think okay. we need to do your challenge. I know you've been looking forward to the challenge. So why don't we pull into this car park? And I'll explain to you what the challenge is. It ain't no big deal. What you have to get is selfies. Right? No, it's fine. It's well, it's not. But I'll explain it anyway. So it's not fun. You'd it's not. You'd rather die than do this. Oh gosh, yeah. Challenge. That's why I'm in the passenger. <laughs> that's why you're so, the mocker. <laughs> yeah. You have to get five selfies on your phone with complete strangers without leaving your car. Not their phone. Your phone. Five. That's not embarrassing at all. No, no, it's fine. It's not even slightly cringy. It's not attention seeking. It's not cringy. No. I hate you right and now. And just so you know, while you're doing that, I'll be mostly in this position. I know, you're going to climb into the boot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, let's get this over with. Okay, well, go find. What you have to do is find people, so. And I can't leave the car. No, but you so see I can't the way run you... over to explain. No. Because I'm not really a leaning out the window, screaming at people kind of person. Is it the first time there? So I'm just going to call people, yeah? Uh -huh. Sorry! Hi! Oh, how are you? Hi! Hi, well, wife! <laughs> when are you coming back in the radio? <laughs> as soon as I get offered a decent gig. What's your name, by the way? Dave Roach. Dave Roach. You're very good to be willing to do this. You're very yeah. good, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> well, well, Thank I follow you on Twitter all the time. Nah. Uh, you're a gent, Dave. Thanks very much. Can Appreciate you it. On Twitter? I will. <gasps> Thanks. Bye! <laughs> Hello there. I'm wondering if you can help me. Thank I have you. a challenge and I have to get a selfie with five people. Yeah. Thank you, you're very good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. Very much. Hi there. Hi, so jump in here beside me. Are you always this accommodating? I, I, I love I've seen you, I've seen you, and no one's just going here. <laughs> you're so good. <laughs> Thank you so right. much. Thanks very much. Hi. Hi. Can you come over? Hi. Hi I can get two of them. Can I get two? Yay. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Yeah, because then it gets me my five people. Thank you so much. You're such a star. What's I like your name? I like the way you guys react like Kerry. this is normal. Yeah. Thank you, Kerry. Anna. Yeah, well, hello, I'm Anna. So do you mind jumping in? Thank you so much, girls. You're so good. Thank you. Okay, so there's good news and bad news. Oh, God. The bad news is two people in one picture is one selfie. Okay. It's not numbers of people, so That's it's numbers okay. of pictures. However... But we still have five pictures, right? That's the good news. Yay! Five out of five. This is, one, you're carrying two, an three. almost perfect score, bar one drop. This is pretty impressive. You just checking out this guy's ass, or is there a reason we're sitting behind? Oh, I was just being kind <laughs> in one. <laughs> How unbelievably rude of you. You're the one who's hanging around behind cyclists. <laughs> Didn't you go over with the Kardashians? I did. Chloe. I wasn't that excited about the Kardashians because I wasn't a Kardashian fan. Right. I appreciate that uh, if you're a Kardashian fan, this was a massive deal. I went with Sally, one of the producers on Ireland AM, and she was obsessed. Well, we designed a disclaimer ahead of getting into get up close and personal with Chloe to say that we could be featured on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Oh. So I, I wasn't particularly excited because it, it wasn't a show that I watched but Sally nearly fell over. She was like, we are going to be in the show. All right, so your final challenge. You're gonna pull up here. See those cones over there? Yeah, I've seen them. Good. All you gotta do is reverse in. 
don't touch them. Anytime you touch a cone, you lose a point and get within about six inches, four inches of the one at the back. No problem. Easy. Have you reversed a car before? Go and have a coffee break. <laughs> this could take a while. <laughs> I don't mean to unsettle you, but it's very, very close on the far side. This side? Very, very close. Frighteningly so. You've got a camera inside the car. Why are you not using it? I like to go old school. Oh, it's very good. And if darkness falls while you're doing this, it'll be more difficult, just so you know. <laughs> you drove over the cone going forwards. Anton's commentary. <laughs> like, is it adding any value? The judges are saying that's a point. I know, the I don't cheap. make the rules, I'm just telling you. The chief lost me a point. You know, yeah, go, you're gonna lose another one here on the front if you're not careful. You've now managed to hit two cones. Both times you were going forward when it happens. You're taking a run at them. That's the stuff, now you're flying. Oh, there's a great air of confidence. You're in the zone. Can Beautiful. I stop? Beautiful. Awesome. Can I get a gin and tonic? <laughs> <laughs> the one and only Anna Daly, our final uh, contestant on the Car Zone Car Show. You did very well. Break down some of the numbers. You got five out of five on the quiz about the car. <gasps> you got four out of five on the general motoring knowledge quiz. Okay. You got five selfies, which means that you arrived here at the final challenge with a score of 10. Okay. Which you then lost two points of for some reason by running forward into cones, but it still leaves you eight points, which puts you joint second place with Alison Cannon. Okay, I'll take that. Nice work. Thank you. Good fun. But no, it wasn't. It was horrendous, actually. <laughs> <laughs> So, a quick reminder of our leaderboard. We have Ian Dempsey in fourth place. Then in third, we have Gordon Darcy. Then joint second, Alison Canavan and Anna Daly, which means our winner is the one and only Dermot Bannon. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Cars on Cars Show.